There's me, there's us. There's them. We live in Dorset. So that's me, that's her, that's them. And together we are the Bear Fam. Well, here's a turn up for the books. And I'm not even sure in recording this that it'll ever see the light of day. Um... I said to somebody on Instagram today that I was sort of 70% convinced that I was going to carry on vlogging. Um, but I still, yeah, there's still 30% of me that thinks it's probably a bad idea. Um, if you wonder why I'm in the bathroom, I'm just going to clean um, makeup brush. Yes, I'm sure it's probably disgusting in that way. <laughs> Somebody said to me the other day, we don't even care what you do, Lise, as long as, even when you're cleaning your sink. So, I'm cleaning a makeup brush, does that count? Um, I've taken to wearing a bit of makeup every day. Gives me a bit of confidence. Makes me feel a bit better about things. Oh my goodness, the makeup coming out of that. You don't realise how much makeup gets caught up in your makeup brushes, do you? The one I put my foundation on. I only found it a week or so ago. A couple of, well, no, two weeks probably. I always put it on by hand before. And then Baby Bear said, oh no, you can't do that. But this stuff, uh, Liquid Magic, Spectrum Liquid Magic, a vegan brush shampoo. Um, it just literally, it looks ridiculous. Like when I first squirted on, I thought, oh, that's going to be useless because it's pink and fluffy. And it comes in a unicorn horn. <laughs> but you literally just massage it in. Massage it into the brush and the bristles. And you will be uh, gobsmacked by how much disgustingness comes out of your brush. Even if you thought it was clean. <laughs> mm. Still a bit on the ends there, I can see. I need something to hoogie on, you know, something to. Mm -hmm. oh, what? I've lost the knack of talking. <laughs> Spend all day, every day, on my own. You know, I had a conversation with Baby Bear about whether to carry on or not. And she said she was happy to take part on holidays and when we're doing something special. But, you know, on normal school days and to do with normal stuff, to do with Dad and that sort of personal stuff, no. And I totally get that. And I've been burnt by it. So... If, and it's a tentative if, I do more than this, it will be me talking, I was about to say chatting shit. And before I wouldn't have said that because I'd be worried about the backlash, but I'm not, I'm not leaving the comment section on. I'm not interested in all people telling me that I'm a foul mouth old bag with a dirty house and unkempt dogs and an unruly child seriously if you have got nothing better to do than take it out on somebody you've never met your life is sad sadder than mine i mean no there's not a lot in my life yes i'm sad or whatever you want to say about me but picking on people that you've never met that you're never likely to meet just because I was trying to work it out in the car last night as I was driving along is it because you think you are you've got life sussed and you are bigger better and you know you, you're more with it than the rest of us um sorry I'm just trying to find somewhere to put the brush on the radiator so it can um dry out <laughs> to put 
it. <laughs> Hang on, I will continue this conversation imminently. Right, I'll leave you there. No, you're going to fall down. You're going to fall down or are you going to stay there? Why am I talking to a makeup brush? Dry out, please. Right, what was I saying? Yes, you're either, you either consider yourself so perfect and have life so sussed and have a perfect family, the perfect husband, partner, girlfriend, whatever it may be, um the cleanest house in the world the tidiest dog and you feel you're in a position where you can judge the rest of us or you are just some pathetic simpering excuse for a human being that has not got anything sussed and who just thinks they're gonna sorry i'm no good at this vlogging lark <laughs> oh i need to stand. <laughs> put all my tripods away um you'll have to be over there sorry um so <sighs> It's got to come from one of two places. One of, I'm perfect. So you're a Mrs. Hinch, whose house is perfect. You look beautiful. Your children are immaculately turned out. Never say, you know, a bad word. Always show amazing um, thanks for gifts and things. Um... Or, in picking on other people, you're really and truthfully naming your own faults or what you perceive as your faults. So in some warped Freudian way, by having a go at other people, you're punishing yourself. That could be it. In which case, we should all feel sorry for you. But from wherever the, the, the vile, 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 wherever the vitriol comes from, wherever the nasty, spiked, barbed comments come from, just look in the mirror. And yes, I've started smoking again really bad habit i fell off the wagon in moments of stress i have always fallen off the wagon i had stopped for 10 years prior to now i'm back on the blinking roll-ups for now i just it's not just you see what's making me think i should carry on is i thought it was me i thought i was just not good at what I did, um, that people, that I just wasn't, I just assumed that maybe my channel was pathetic and that I didn't do it well enough and that I should go and hide. There was an element of um, Ellie's had some issues and um, I felt that me vlogging might be a contributing factor. Um, I was told it was. And at the moment it came to me, I thought, oh, I tried to, in fact, I think I tried to take literally every photograph of me off the internet impossibility after the amount of vlogging we've done um i tried to erase myself from the internet and then caroline flack took her own life and a contributing factor was no doubt um the trolling she'd received yes she had lots going on with the court case and um, her job, you know, the job she loved having gone. 
but and she had fragile mental health much as I do so I thought oh god I don't want to end up like that do I I mean the worst time was uh, was like two summers ago when I spoke up about that and if you've been with me long enough you'll know what that is So I sort of had a little taste of what it's like to be, oh, it's just horrible and the whole world seems to be on your case. Everybody was on Twitter having a go and then I made the mistake in France and literally it just felt like, and I conquered that and I, I moved forwards and I thought I got it sussed and then, and then I thought maybe I hadn't got it sussed. And I just thought, you know what, well, I'm probably better off, the world's better off. But the amount of lovely comments I've had and the... I felt really lonely. Do you know what, I, I don't really see you, any of you, do I? <laughs> Once and Oh, sorry, dog. Sorry, Jack. Didn't mean to kick you, mate. Um, I didn't... I don't know. And then, and then Tattle Life, I made the mistake of reading Tattle Life again. It was brought to my attention that there was loads of comments on there again. Well, not that they ever went anywhere. I just didn't read them for a long time. And I thought, oh my God, you know. But I'm lonely. I miss you all. I miss the catharticness of talking to somebody. So I think I'm going to start again and it won't be regular. I, I don't, well, I'm not gonna make any promises. I don't know whether it'll be regular. I don't know whether it'll be every day. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna take you up the hill today for a little see, although it's blowing a hoolie. Um, yeah. Well, I never thought it would be odd vlogging on the hill. But <laughs> it seems odd today. Pigeon on his way. Um, it's blue skies and it's definitely spring-like um, a lot of plants and things cloud formation is beautiful a lot of plants and things are um, starting to sprout um, but today is bitterly cold I guess we're really lucky that it's not raining for once um, the ground is sodden I can only imagine what the poor souls, those of you in the north of England and various other places that are suffering so badly with floods, send my love and thoughts to you because I can't even begin, to, I can't even begin to imagine what that must be like. Soul destroying, I would think. Especially if you've got your home, you know, you've spent time making it as you want it and kept it clean and tidy and, and then in like one foul, I was going to say swoop, but one foul wave, it's all gone, isn't it? Not good. And I also feel sorry for those people stuck in Tenerife. I mean, two weeks stuck in a hotel room. Running out of their meds, which would scare me, I have to say. They weren't getting food yesterday. Just shocking. It's blooming coronavirus spreading its way like poison ivy throughout the world. Mm. Alright, I'll catch up with you a bit further on. Since I last saw you all, um, I found a, like a secret section of wood. 
just off the hill. And um, I've been heading down here quite a lot because I like the tranquility. I like the fact that nobody else comes down here. I like the fact that Jack can be off the lead, although he has just disappeared. I know it backs onto the posh estate um, that we've got in the valley. So I'm assuming it's part of their land. But the wood's not tended by any stretch. And it's, um, you know, broken down, bits of metal. I'm not causing any damage, that's for sure. Um, chunks ch chewed a few branches, but that's uh, about it. a moo and sometime in the near future there might be a jack oh where's he gone <whistles> jack jack biscuits yeah, I know you're here does that mean therefore you should have a biscuit I see your point. Here he comes. Here comes the explorer. You want a biscuit? Come on then. You need a haircut, boy. Yes, you do. Right. Biscuits all round. And then we move on. Good boy for coming, Jadak. Good boy, Moo. Good boy, little man. Right, I sit my bottom on that, there's like a cupped area there on that, here. So I'll sit there. Moo sits on my lap. And I try and take some pictures, but it's difficult. Monty's in one arm. And the camera's heavy for one hand. The whole point of sitting there initially was to let the birds chill out and come closer. But there's like a field area that's walled all round like it was, I don't know, a walled garden or a walled, you know, kitchen garden or something at one time. But it's not used. Well, so I just like sitting there. They mull around in the grass and in the woods and they get a longer walk for it because I'm sitting on my butt. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. It is a bit of an exploration, I have to say. It's not like a a path that's... <laughs> See, there's like bits of metal like this across the path. There's a dead motor bike up further. Bits of corrugated iron there. That's it, you go under it. Oh, sorry, Jack, don't realise you were that close. Wouldn't be the first time I've gone on my butt. Oh, why are you there now? Sorry for the abrupt, um, <laughs> but I've been looking for a great tit all day. And literally, I'm talking to you and he lands on the branch in front of me. So hopefully, got a good couple of pictures of him. If I have, I'll shove him in. Um, I'm going to make my way home now. So uh, thank you uh, for listening to me ramble again. Um, hopefully, there might be some more. Don't know. Don't know what to make of it all. Anyway, oh look, boys playing. They love it. Anyway, Bear Fam, take care of yourselves and each other and um, thank you for your company and for sticking with me. Um, even though I've said I was going to finish. And really and truthfully, if it hadn't been for all your messages and all your support and just you've been so lovely. Um, people telling me how much I'd help them and people telling me they look forward to watching the vlog when they come in from work and just lots of lovely messages and you know they made a big difference and they made my heart fill up so thank you for your support it it, it means a lot and without it I probably wouldn't be here talking to you now so 
take care of yourselves and each other and who knows, I might catch you on the morrow.